Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to knit this uh, beautiful bee lace uh, stitch. Some people call it the horseshoe or the wishbone, I just call it the bee lace stitch. And I'm showing you here an example of a cuff or a sock. Uh, I think it looks beautiful, uh, more interesting than just knits and pearls um, for your socks. So um, let's get started, it's very simple, it's a multiple of 8 stitches and it's a 6 row repeat pattern. Um, I knitted in the round so um, I'm going to give you the instructions for this. For the first row, um, row 1, 3 and 5 are most important. So for the first row we start with um, knit 1 and then we have to pick one so yarn over, knit 2. And then with the next two stitches we slip them as if to knit we knit the next one and then we bind off the stitches that we slipped over the one that we knitted and that makes that line go going down down in the middle of our V's um, you can see it there especially when when it's stretched and then we knit two and we um, yarn over. I'm counting here stitches, I think I have seven um, and yeah I need to do the yarn over. Then again knit one, yarn over, knit two, slip the two stitches. Um, you can see the you can see the line there of the V's of the knitting. Knit one Bind off the two stitches that we that we um, slipped and then knit two, yarn over, and that's the end of my first needle. I have got 16 stitches, so eight, eight. Um, I'm gonna speed up through the next two needles and then we I'm gonna show you what we do on row number two. And it's the same thing that we're gonna do for row number four and row number six. Uh, here we go. So this is row number two on um, on your cuff uh, on this uh, pattern. And what we do is we knit all stitches. I know it sounds like it's not going to do anything, um, but it it makes it look really nice. So we knit all the stitches on all the needles. So that's row number two. Just knit all the stitches, and uh, and then we're we're gonna see row number three, which is a bit different than than the other one, but you can still see a little bit of a pattern through through all the rows. So um, for row number three, we start with knit two, and then yarn over, knit one. Slip two stitches as if to knit. Um, knit the next one and bind them off over the, um, the one that we knitted. And then we knit one, we do yarn over and we knit another one and that's one of the V's. For the next one, knit, knit two, just like before, yarn over, knit one. Then we slip the two stitches and knit one and bind off and yeah um, knit one yarn over and knit the last one that's again my first um, needle I'm gonna speed up through the next two needles and then row number four like I said before it's exactly like row number two and row number six which means we knit all stitches um, here we go I'm almost finished with row number four and for row number five um, we're gonna knit three 
two, three. Then we're going to do yarn over and slip two stitches, knit one, bind off, yarn over again, and then knit two, and that's that's one of our V's. Um, and then again knit three. Slip two, knit one, bind off, yarn over, knit the next two, and that's the end of my first needle. And I'm going to speed up through the next two needles again. And then row number six is knit all stitches. And that's it. That's the end of the repeat of the pattern. And for this cuff, um, I made five five or six, I, I can't remember, of repeats. Um, and then I went into the the, um, the heel flap and, and the turning of the heel and, and the rest of the sock. But uh, here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Please try it and um, leave comments if you like it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.